Hey everyone, Rick here, and good lord, do we have something exciting today, folks? Finally, the newest WizKids 4D settings have been released. In this case, it is the Medieval Farmer. Folks, yeah, that's right. Oh, of course. We absolutely picked up a couple of these sets. The glare on the box is pretty bright, but from this angle, you can see, you guessed it, WizKids at it again with the pre-painted terrain. Folks, I've said it before, I'll say it again. We are entering, if not already within, a golden age. The golden age of pre-painted terrain. Not only that, but in this medieval farmer set, it does have a medieval farmer miniature, livestock, everything your farm is going to need. So what do you say we crack this thing open and take a closer look? Now, as we do that, let's also just take a peek at the rest of the packaging. Kind of gives you an idea of different ways you can set it up. The back, of course, gives you a full layout of all the pieces as well as an inventory of everything included. And then, love these descriptions on the back of the box. Kind of gets you in the mood. And a couple more pictures on that side. Again, this is the 4D settings. This is a, my dream come true. And not only that, but there's more. And they are going to keep coming out with these as long as we support them, folks. Rush out to your friendly local game store or order online. Hey, you know what? I'm all for that. Either way, as long as you can get these in your hot little hands, please do so. This I picked up at my friendly local game store for $40, $39.99. I used a 20% off coupon, so it was just over $30. And folks, I would pay that night and day. Are you kidding me? They are doing so fantastically with their deep cuts primed miniatures but no i i i don't want to get into the you know painted versus non-painted but no i i need to have it painted and now that they are going into the scenery oh my gosh okay let's take these pieces out piece by glorious piece there's some fencing in here with a gate. And we'll take close-ups of all of this. For sure. Sorry if that startled anyone. I should have turned my notifications off. But they have these fantastic fence pieces. And you may say, Rick, why do you want two of them? Folks, I should have grabbed three, if not four. And then, you know, you can have a spray. And it's, you don't just create one single setting with this. You use pieces of it in various setups. I'm super thrilled about the livestock, honestly. I mean, this just looks like, you know, was in your son or daughter's play farm bucket. But these are actual whiz kids miniatures come on and focus 2019 whiz kids that's right pre-painted cows how absolutely fantastic is that udders absolutely are included and then we have a couple bowls here Because I was actually, I just set up a bandit camp for a little skirmish war game scenario. Bunch of pre-painted terrain. And I was like, man, I actually don't have any livestock. I have some horses, but that's about it. And then here we have the steer-drawn plow, I guess. Do something like this with it, right? 
pretty fantastic. I don't, yeah, just so you can see that focused up. That's just awesome. There's a little base here for this. This is 100% the MVP of the entire set. So you better focus on this because look at this. Oh, hell yeah. And I was going to say that the integral base was actually pretty big, but it looks like the pl black plastic base that it comes with is just big enough to hold, to contain the actual base. Of course, you don't truly need that if you don't want to, but there he is. Oh my gosh. That is just 100% fantastic. And doesn't that just look like a nice miniature? Holy cow. Next up, we are into the hay. Hay bales. No, these aren't bales. Hay piles, straw piles. You do get a couple of those. So even if you didn't want or need a farm, you still have things you, everyone needs a cart, right? A wooden cart. And look at how nice that looks. Oh, that's just fantastic. Yep, that is fantastic. So even if you didn't need a farm, well, you can use fences little stable in your bandit camp, livestock, and a little peasant farmer for the village. This is the big focal point right here, this kind of shed. What do they actually call this? A manger. They actually call this the manger. But it's just so well done. I mean, look at this. Underneath everywhere painted just absolutely wonderfully it just i mean they're stepping up their pre-painted game look at that that looks fantastic and guess what i didn't have to lift a finger to have that just come out of the box like that that's absolutely fantastic I don't even know what this is. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I don't understand. The one says an, one animal shed, which actually I think this is the animal shed, and then it says one manger. Is this the manger? I always thought of a manger as, you know, biblic biblically... You know, being shelter for human beings, but maybe this is a smaller manger. And it actually has on the back, it looks like there was a, maybe supposed to be hay for it, or yeah, you know what? There absolutely was. Now, this is something else because see, you can see in this unopened one, there actually is hay or straw inside of there. Isn't that the damnedest thing? Someone pointed out on my one of my barracks, my WizKids 40 settings barracks unboxing, that I was missing some shields. And now, this unboxing, I'm missing some hay for my manger. That's crazy. So that is actually an issue. Definitely, if you're especially going in person into a store to pick that up, make sure that you get one that has the straw in the manger like that. Because obviously, as you can see, that could be a problem. But look, otherwise, apart from that, I mean, come on. So here is everything laid out and again this gate opens up so simply and of course you could put this something like this 
If you wanted to just do a little closed pin like that, yep, it is just fantastic. Folks, this has been the WizKids 4D Settings Medieval Farmer Set, and I am blown away. Missing hay or not, I will continue to support pre-painted miniatures and scenery. This farmer is fantastic. Folks, thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and check out, oh yeah, the homestead. Oh, that'll be next. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, until next time, thank you so much. I do truly appreciate it.